hello everyone and welcome back to this video it's leonard here again and in today's video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to set multiple take profit using the bybit exchange and i'm going to do all of this using the bybit mobile app okay so whatever i'm showing you here if you decide to do it on the bybit web version okay using your laptop or your desktop you should be able to follow and do this now to set multiple take profit levels there are two ways you can actually go about this okay so i'm going to show you all of that in this video now uh, it is assumed that you already have a position on the trade that is running and then you'll be able to set you know this multiple tick profit levels for your trade okay now so this is what a typical trade or signal looks like on our telegram platform right so if you are not on the telegram group already just use the link in the video description to join us on telegram and if you don't have a bybit account okay we do trade with bybit when it comes to futures trading um, make sure that you use the link in the video description to sign up for a bybit account and join us on telegram and take all the free signals that we actually share there every day okay now um this take this particular trade has take profit one two three and four all right but i'm just going to use one of these trades that are currently running here to explain this to you okay so the first way there are two ways you can go about this as i said earlier the first way to go about it is once you place your trade and your trade is triggered already and it is running all you just need to do is to come to the running trade here you see all of these different options but you want to click on this option that says close by now when you click on the close buy option okay this dialog box pops up you have the option to close at market order and then you have option to set limit now when it has not hit your tp1 or tp2 you don't need to do market because if i do now i'll be losing okay so we'll go ahead and do what limit order so make sure that you're on the limit order option okay now this is where you are going to put your take profit one okay now this what this allow you do what this particular option that allow you do is to close part of your position okay when he take profit one you are closing part of your position when he take profit two you want to close another part of your position you know you keep taking partials until you finish closing the complete trade okay this is one way you can do that right so once you come in here the tp1 is what you are going to do put here the price for the tp1 let's say the price for the tp1 is around uh let's say 0 0.11 um, okay you go ahead and put that now down here where it's a quantity if i use 100 percent it means that when it gets to this price okay when this token gets to this price it will close the entire position okay but i want to take uh, you know i want to take advantage of the take profit one two three four and so on okay so i don't want to close the entire position so what i can do is to go ahead and put 10 percent okay so i can go ahead and use 10 percent it means that if it cost me 100 dollar to open this position 200 dollar to open this position okay 10 percent of that is what i'm closing the same thing will apply to the profit okay 10 percent of that is what i'm closing and all of that so if i go ahead and click on okay confirm here okay that trade will be automatically placed now it has placed a limit order okay for me on my order book all right so if i go to my other book here you can see a lot of others there this is the one we just set up here so when it gets to that 11 cent okay it will close 10 percent of that position that we are currently holding right why the trade is still running now if you want to set it tp2 okay you go ahead and do the same thing click on the close buy option all right and then go ahead go back to the limit option and then type let's say tp2 will be uh, 0 0.12 okay this time around remember we already closed um set tp for 10 percent of our, our, our capital right so the remaining 90 percent is what we are setting now if i do 50 percent of that is the same thing okay whatever it is and all of that so you can continue to close your position at every take profit level until you finally finish closing the entire position on that particular trade okay this is one way you can go about that so you keep closing partial of your position until you f completely close the entire position okay that is how you can set multiple take profit using this method all right the other one is to manually trail your market okay trail the 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 trade okay now if you have take profit one two three up to four when on the onset right if you are going to enter that trade let's say our entering is here and then we'll put the quantity at which we want to enter the trade with if i go ahead and put that here you have the option to set your tp level and stop loss before you enter the trade 
Now, when the trade has multiple entry or multiple take profit level, okay, here you want to put the last price of the take profit, take profit number four or number five, whatever the last take profit is. That is the one you are going to put in. Let's say the take profit number five is around 0 0.2. Okay, that is all you are going to put here. Then your stop loss, you go ahead and put whatever the stop loss is here. Okay, whatever the stop loss is, you go ahead and put that here. Once you do that, you go ahead and click on confirm. All right. Now, what you can now do is to manually be monitoring your trade. All right. Manually be monitoring your trade. When the trade is triggered and then it, 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 it has already moved to take profit one, for instance, the trade has triggered and it is this one that is running here, right? If it has already gone to take profit one, well, we have the option to still edit the take profit levels and all of that. All right. So once we hit take profit one, we can come in here and click on set TP. Okay. Then we can now come in here and manually adjust the stop loss. Okay. So we can now adjust the stop loss to entry to save our capital. Now the price for the entry will be this one. Okay. Instead of using this slider here to adjust that. Okay. You don't use this. You just manually type this entering price here okay so you now type the entry price here and click on confirm now when the market continues to go and it hits your take profit too that is if you want to be in the trade with all your full position right because when you close half of your position definitely the profit you'll be making subsequently will be reducing right but you want to be in the trade with the whole of your uh, capital and all of that then you can now manually be adjusting your stop loss okay manually be adjusting your stop loss for instance if it hits take profit number two, you can now move your stop loss to TP number th number one, all right? By typing the price for the TP number one here, okay? That is how you will continue to adjust the take profit until that trade finally hits the last target of, you know, the TP, okay? Once that is done, the trade will now automatically close everything and you're out of that trade, okay? Alternatively, to take partials, okay, you can equally use this option here, right? On the TP where you have set your TP here is for the entire position and then here is for partials, okay? So if I switch to the partial option here, right? So here you see that I equally have the option to select the quantity, okay? And then the option to equally set the take profit price at what I can set it in percentage. I can set it whatever price is given to you. Go ahead and put that here, okay? And then you can set stop loss and all of that. So the um, partial position option here, what it does is that if you set stop loss, maybe the trade is going against you and you go ahead and set stop loss that when it gets to this particular level, you want to close 50% of your position and then leave the remaining 50% to still run, you can do that, okay? So you can use the slider here at the top to select all of that. So if I go ahead and slide this to the right, you see, Okay, it tells you that 10%, okay, 20%, 40%, and all of that. Whatever you want to do, you go ahead and do that. Once you are done, okay, put the price at which you want to close that or put the percentage and all of that. If you want to do stop loss too, you can do that, okay? And after that, you go ahead and click on confirm. This will equally help to close partial of your positions, all right? So once again, just to recap this, okay, if you want to set multiple take profit using the Bible exchange, once your trade is running already, you can use this option that says close by to be closing part of your position, okay? You can close 10% at take profit 1. You can close 20% at take profit 2. You can close 50% at, you can close 50 at take profit 3. And then at take profit 4, you close the entire position. It is left to you. Or you manually be adjusting your stop loss, okay? Once the trade is triggered, you manually be adjusting your stop loss by using the set tp and sl option here okay once you click on it once the trade is already in tp1 you want to move your stop loss okay to entry when it gets to tp2 you want to move your stop loss to what to tp1 when it gets to tp3 you want to move your stop loss to what tp what tp you know tp2 and all of that you continue to trail the market manually like that until the trade finally closes this way you make more profit than you know closing part of your position but closing part of your position will equally keep you safe once you hit take profit one okay and you have closed 10 percent of that immediately come here and adjust entry uh, your stop loss to entry that way you will be safe from anything that may happen maybe you are not around and then something just happened you will be safe 
from any trades that you are taking okay i hope this video is very clear if you don't understand anything well you can use the comment section or go to the telegram and ask your question there and then you will definitely get answers from you know community members there and all of that all right so these are ways you can set all of this alternatively if you are the, those of, one of those who trade with bot and all of that you can use the bot to set you know multiple uh, for the bot to automatically adjust all of this for you but this is how you can do it manually right so by setting to close your positions this close option is only when the trade is running all right and then manually adjusting your stop losses and all of that is equally when the trade has triggered and it is running. So basically, that is how you can set multiple take profit levels using the Bybit app, mobile app. And um, for each trade that we send you, that is basically how to do that. Okay. So you have the option to set the take profit to the last one, the last target. Okay, and then once it hit take profit one or two, you can now manually adjust, which is what I do personally, okay? Manually adjust your stop loss either to entry or take profit one or two or three, gradually like that until the trade closes, all right? Or you can just come in here and be closing part of your trade. When you hit take profit one, you close part. When you hit, you know, this is taking partials, okay? When you hit take profit two, you close part. When you hit take profit three, you close part. And at the last take profit, you close the entire position and you are done for that trade. I hope this is clear enough, all right? If you don't understand, use the comment section, guys. And then for those of you who don't have Bybit account, okay? Sign up with our link and join us on Telegram and take the free signals that we share there every day, okay? If you are new to the channel, you're welcome. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell, to be the first to be notified whenever videos like this are published that's it for this video i'll see you in the next